I'm uh, a bit perplexed because of all the contradictions I'm hearing today. All the people who are standing up who want to save consumers money and are upset with insurance companies and yet don't want to get rid of a mandate that everybody have to buy insurance in the first place. I mean, let's get on board. Let's just get rid of the entire insurance mandate altogether. If we hate insurance companies so much, that'd be great. I'm happy to support that. I think the whole system is a blooming scam. Unfortunately, we don't have that option today. I echo the comments of the senator from the second district. The bill's not as good as I'd like it to be. But you know, there's tons of contradictions being thrown out here. We want guarantees. We want to make sure costs are going to go down. But boy, we sure want to make sure the costs of doing business in my area are associated in somebody else's area. That's very nice of people. We have a lot of car deer accidents in the UP. I'm glad to hear the rest of you would like to pay for that in your insurance rates. Second highest car deer accident collision state in the country. And the Upper Peninsula is a big contributor to that. So I'm real happy to hear you'd like to associate those costs everywhere. Contradictions, again and again. We want people to have choices, but we don't want to give them any choices. The lack of depending on people's personal decisions, oh, that's scary. People might not know that when they purchase insurance that's not going to give them a lifetime unlimited benefit, that they might not get a lifetime unlimited benefit. Seems a little obvious to me. We want to guarantee this cost savings. Oh, those insurance companies, those greedy buggers, they're going to keep every penny that they're saving consumers now. Why do we think that? Is that what's going on in other states? No. Other states are selling car insurance a lot cheaper. I have people in my district who are literally able to move to Wisconsin, rent an apartment for their kids, for the money they save on car insurance and still have money to put in their pockets. We are losing citizens in this state because of this ridiculous system. And we have a contradiction. We talk about other states. Oh, well, other states are looking at doing what Michigan's doing. I have been hearing that malarkey for 10 years. And you know what? Other states do look at what Michigan's doing. Then they laugh and they say, heck, we're not doing that nonsense. Get us away from that idea as quick as possible. 49 other states have figured out how to do this better than we have. Some of whom don't mandate insurance coverage, once again, just to beat on that horse some more. Let's get something done that's going to help our people. We're, let's talk about the opportunities. You know, somebody's mocking the hashtag, what am I going to do with my saved car insurance? I hear it all the time. I mean, my district has the headquarters for Repeal Michigan No Fault Auto Insurance in it. I mean, this is a big deal. I can't have a tele, uh, town hall without everybody wanting to know what are we doing about car insurance. It is the biggest issue. Everybody talks about it. I have unanimous resolutions from the, both Democratic county parties and Republican county parties saying, just get rid of the whole system. Blow it up. So we're not blowing it up, unfortunately, but we are going to really make some great changes that give people options, can help people save money. Oh, but contradiction. We're worried that they're going to pocket that MCCA savings if there's money left over in it. I'm not exactly sure where in the legislative history this legislature has not suddenly seen a pot full of money sitting out there that was suddenly going to go somewhere that it didn't just salivate over getting its greasy hands on to put it somewhere else where it needs it. We do it all the time. So in 30 or 40, 50 years from now, when suddenly all the folks in that system are gone and the insurance companies say, oh, look, there's a pot of money. That's going to be all ours now. You don't think who our successors are going to get their greedy hands on that and use it for something? They will. Trust me. Some things just don't change. So with that, Mr. President, I encourage support for this, and I'm very excited to cast a yes vote for it. Thank you very much.